Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, courtesy of Curb, thank you Curb, we're taking a look at uh, Roki. This is a game that came out less than a year ago. Uh, I'm playing it on PC, it's also on Mac and Switch. And it's a, it's a story about monsters that shouldn't exist, but do. This was also voted on by uh, Twitch chat. We gave him some games and uh, just barely, Roki won out. Lars. Ah, Lars. Lars. <laughs> what were you doing over there? Hmm? There was a knockin' water sprite, and a croaky toad, and... <laughs> I'm sure. And now it's home time, Tiny Tompte. <laughs> no! There's going to be words in here I do not know how to pronounce. All right, so I am in control of you. And do the face buttons do anything? No. Right now, right now I'm just walking. Oh, no, you don't. Lars. Lars. Every time. Oh, okay. Now I can sprint. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Really pretty environment. Lars? Where have you run off to now? Can't we walk for a change? I oh, I have to interact with this. What is this? It kind of looks like a, like a baby Yoda statue. Oh, I see. We're playing a game. <laughs> Hide and seek, is it? <laughs> Cute for a monster. At least, I think it's a monster. Mama, Mama would know its name. <sighs> He's my new monster best friend. Keep away, stinky sister. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. <gasps> Maybe I can find something to make him come out. Let's see. <laughs> Escape. Ha, not likely. Home time. <laughs> Lars, what am I going to do with you? Uh, snowball? <laughs> this snowball should do nicely. I'd better get that little so-and-so home. So open my backpack. Snowball. <laughs> I better throw the snowball before it melts. Okay. Hold A and then drag it onto something. Oh, I see. <laughs> you asked for this, Lars. <laughs> Eep! Yes! Ha! Toe of the Monster Slayer. <sighs> you made him sad. Say sorry. Ugh. Beckliger, monster. Now can we go? I'm hungry. Mm. Hmm. I want to play monsters. Huh. Well, I want to eat. Maybe I'll eat you. <laughs> eat Tove monster. <laughs> Better run, uh, little Tompt. Tompty? Tompty? Press X to open Tove's journal at any time. Okay, uh, there's notes. Although they're playing in the snow by the lake, Lars said he saw some magic creatures in the water. His ideal pet would be a troll or a monster. Maybe he really does see them. Who knows? But I really have to get us home so I can make dinner. I have to use snowballs to get them moving. Okay. And there's a map. And loot. And badges. I should look at the sections, shouldn't I? Secret badge. Okay. Back to it then. Tompta, 
and Tova. Okay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Not my strong suit. Quick! A, uh, a troll is under the bridge. Run, Tova. I think he really sees them sometimes. <laughs> Lars! Better not let them get too far ahead. <laughs> Chill Day says, Americans trying to pronounce Norwegian makes me giddy. We're all just doing our best. Huh? What is it? Are you hurt? I stepped on it, whatever it is. Oh, you just dropped your toy again. Huh? I should probably take a look at it. Okay. Uh. Mr. Yotun has a missing eye this time. <laughs> it's going to need emergency reattachment. Uh. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Mr. Yotun is broken! Well, I mean, we could probably fix it. We just need, like, t tools. <laughs> Papa's car. Don't think he's used it since back then. Huh? Why does Papa keep all this stuff? <laughs> he didn't keep her stuff. Uh -huh. Some glue. <laughs> I once got my fingers stuck together for an hour with this. Okay. So can I use this here? Uh All right, I did it. I got a badge for being a craftsperson. Here you go, bud. How many times have I fixed you now, Mr. Yotun? <laughs> here, please stop dropping him. <laughs> I promise, Mr. Yotun, say thank you to Tova. <laughs> Talk, Tova. You can be my friend now. Yeah, I'm going to butcher so many words in this first 20. So many words. Let's check uh, Let's check around. What is this? One day we'll get a toilet inside the house, Papa says. I wonder if it's all still down there. Hi, birds. Back inside. Papa, I wonder if you're dreaming of Mama. <laughs> what will we have for dinner, Lars? Click the left stick in to flash the objects you can interact with. Oh, that's helpful. Ugh. This stuff stinks. Why do we keep it in the house? Huh? I wonder if there's still a mouse. <laughs> My favorite pan, the frying pan. <laughs> Our cooker, that's the only hob that works. Getting all sorts of supplies. This bowl will do. <sighs> eggs. Okay. Hey, there's nothing wrong with eggs. Eggs are great. Forgot the washing up. Maybe we should eat out of the pan. So I can cook egg. Okay, so let's see. I've got... Put this in here. No shell. I'm getting good at this. And then put this here. Do I have to wait for it to heat up? It doesn't really matter. Can you eat too many eggs? No. Actually, yes, you can. You definitely can. <laughs> Lars. Lars, shoot again, and I'm giving your dinner to the ravens. Hmm. Sit down. It's almost ready. The Eggs again. Tova! <laughs> they make you big and strong. <gasps> I want pancakes! Uh -huh. It's eggs. Or maybe I can find you some of Papa's pickled herrings. <gasps> uh, eggs. If you eat it all, maybe you'll become a giant like Mr. Yotun. I'm 
not sure if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> Bedtime, Tiny Tompton. But I'm not tired. Let me stay up with you. Go on, I'll be up in a minute. We can start a new book. Just need to fix the fire. Need some warmth in here. Well, this is a log. Huh. Okay, so let's... do this. Got it. Good fire. Keep Papa cozy. <laughs> Poor Mr. Yotin. One day he's really going to lose you. Almost as much dust on it as a blanket. Oh, Papa. Blech. Pickled herring. Papa's favorite. Anything left to interact with on this side? No, I don't think so. Alright, let's head up. Oh. Ava? <sighs> no, Papa. It's just me, Tova. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tova. You made dinner? Yes, Papa, I left some for you. Oh. You're a good girl. Don't stay up late. Papa? I won't. Papa? Oh. Let's see what we've got up here. Aha. Tales of the Forest. This used to be mine. These leaks are getting worse. Maybe they have books on plumbing at the library. Uh -huh. My beloved horror novels. Uh -huh. Not so good as bedtime stories, though. There's a window. What's this? Mm -hmm. Lars is always drawing creatures from his favorite fairy tales. He's actually really good. Go to sleep, Lars. <laughs> I need Mr. Yotun! Well, guess what? You dropped him again. Hmm. Next time, I'm not picking him up. Hmm. Sleep, Lars, now. <laughs> Tell me a story about Mama. Hmm. I'm too tired, Lars. Can't we just read one? Uh. You always say that. <sighs> okay, little Tomta. Story time. How about the Yatnar and the baby? <laughs> yes, yes. That was Mama's favorite, too. She always said it was true, but that makes no sense. Read. Okay, okay, here we go. Four giant guardians there were in days of yore. These Yatnar guarded the ancient forest and its lore. Hmm. Patient Jochen Bjorn, coat as brown as the dying leaves. <sighs> Proud Jot Jotenjort, antlers held high in the summer breeze. <laughs> Playful Jotengilfer, who roamed, <laughs> I'm doing my best, who roamed wide over spring's new growth. And cunning Jotunraven, guardian of winter and knowledge both. <clears throat> As the wheel of ages turned, humans ventured into the guardian's realm. One stood most tall and fair as he felled trunks of pine and elm. Jotunraven was besotted and cast herself in human form. Before long they wed, winter's once ruler's heart grew warm. She called herself Rorka and took with child, but half human only, he was fey and wild. Her fellow guardians were horrified, so banished mother and son to a nether realm. Though it took all their strength, the deed was done. And there Rorka plots a way for her child to return. 
Watching our world through eyes of ravens, still she yearns. Uh, think it's even made me a bit sleepy. Can't keep my eyes. Tova? Tuve. Also, I can hear Lars is saying Tuva. Tuve. Should probably try and pronounce it that way. Tuve. It's hard. I must have read myself to sleep. What time is it? Need to wee, Tuve, wee! It's really cold. Make sure you wrap up. But but you never you said never to go alone. Ugh, I did say that. Clothes and shoes on quick. No toys. Can I bring my marbles? No. I mean it. All your pockets are ripped for marbles. Come on. Let's go, go, go. Someone really needs to go, huh? There's a few things I can interact with still. Our old trunk. Maybe one day we could all go traveling. There's something in the foreground here. Papa used to be so good at making these. <laughs> Lars fairy tale creatures look almost alive at night. <laughs> All of us. Though Lars wasn't ready to come out yet. <laughs> I like the wolf the best, just like Mama. All right. I know the 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 incredible urge, so I should probably go meet up with him. Fire's getting low again. I should top it up. Huh? Always found this thing a little creepy. Papa? Papa, are you still sleeping? Hmm. At least you look peaceful. Seems like Tuve is doing a great deal of keeping the house together. They're all toasty again. I'm sorry, you really have to pee. I'm so sorry. Code red, Tuve! Come on, tiny tomped. I'm not a tomp... Tompty! Tompty? But the tompty is tiny and plays tricks and helps with the housework. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Well, the mood is certainly set for something to happen, so, um... Ah, ravens! What are they doing here? What do you call so many ravens? Tuve, Tuve, I need to go now. I'll wait here, be quick. I'm not going with them watching! It's a lot of the ravens. What am I writing in my notes here? Uh, previous page. That's what I did. Eh. Made a home after fighting off a monster. Didn't put much of a fight. Lars dropped his Mr. Yotun toy again. I don't know how many times I've had to fix him. Nothing makes Lars as happy as Mr. Yotun, though. Update, it is eerie out tonight. I don't think I've ever seen so many ravens. Something strange is going on. It's like we've stepped into a fairy tale. Oh, that's weird. That page is after the last page. Oh, it's telling you about each place. Oh, that's... That's a little confusing, but okay. Come on, birds. Leave. My brother's got to pee. The path is clear, little Tomte. <gasps> ah, they're guarding the toilet. I can't go with them on top. <laughs> Lars, they're just birds, okay? Mm -hmm. Watch, I'll show them who's boss. Look at them just sitting there, judging. Uh, and preventing Lars from peeing. Do I need to get, uh... Snowballs? From somewhere? Are there snowballs around? Huh. Oh dear, you really do need fixing, huh? Snowman. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure what they want me to do here. But I guess if I... 
do this, I can see... Oh god, I can't climb. The wind chimes aren't even asleep. I definitely should be, though. Let's see, there's gotta be... Oh, I got some rocks. Pebbles! Non-lethal bird repellent. I'm also gonna check the, uh, the pet tombstones over here. I still miss you guys. Okay, that's it. Uh, alright. Pebbles. Birds. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, birds. It's Lars' turn to use the outhouse. Okay, all gone. Go pee. <laughs> you better be quick, Lars. It's freezing out here. Tuve. Tuve, what was that? I, I don't know. A tree falling, maybe? <gasps> maybe it's a monster! <laughs> Monsters aren't real, Lars. <sighs> Nothing here but me and my pile of frozen toes. Mm. Lars, come on! Uh -huh. Did your bottom freeze in there? Hurry up! <gasps> I'm scared, Tuve. What if it's a troll? I don't know what it is, but we're going inside. Cause we be taking care of business. Make a pee. Whew. We're safe now, I promise. But I'm still scared. I'll protect you, nothing frightens Tuve the... Oh, yeah, okay. <gasps> Lars, get back! This is a nightmare. I'm still asleep. Wake up. No, can't risk it. Gotta get to the ladder. It's gonna be okay. Wah! A chunk of jagged wood from our poor house. Stab! I don't like getting this close. Please work, please work. Take this! It worked, but our house! Gotta find a way to get downstairs. What is that thing? Oh, I'm gonna make a rope ladder. Okay. Or, or a, a clothing ladder, as it were. Just tathers. Those claws must be sharp. Uh, wow, we have even less privacy now. All that's left of the banister. Maybe we can use it to get down. Yeah, let's combine this. Okay. Okay, now we should be able to get down. Yeah. That looks sturdy enough, I hope. Lars, you first. Hurry. Hold on tight. Please don't break. Man, he can sleep through most anything. Are you okay? Not hurt? We need to get Papa and get out of here. What is it? Need something better than a splinter this time. A bit of cloth needing a new home. My poor little paper wolf. That's going straight in the journal. Uh, possibly this? Nah, I really hope that would do something. Do I need to make a Molotov cocktail? Because it... It kind of is giving me all the ingredients for a Molotov cocktail. I'm going to make a Molotov cocktail. Okay, um, sure. What on earth are we playing? Just like those movies Papa wouldn't like me watching. Light this end and let it fly.
Oh, I'm awake. What happened? Well, I made a Molotov cocktail. Oh, good. He's awake. Oh, that... Okay, that's an unfortunate circumstance. Papa! Papa, get up. Come on, please. You can't go too. No! Tuve, is Papa okay under there? Papa. I mean, Lars, buddy. You tell me, pal. It's not looking great. I think he's moving. Tuve, go. Take your brother and go. No, Papa! Your brother from Mama. Remember, Tuve, what she said. No, Papa, please! Help him, Tuve! It's too hot. I can't get through that fire. Tuve, the cellar, go now. Lars, quickly, you heard what he said. But what about Papa? He'll get out. He has to. Now go. Things have accelerated. Uh, there must be a way out, but I can't see. Better. Oh no. We have to be careful. This way, to the window. The old sled, that's it. We could sled to town, get help for Papa. Poor Papa. Can't reach. Must be a way to get it down. Hmm. Hey, Tuve, look! My old ro Robo robot. Oh. I thought Papa threw this out. <laughs> Good. Play with Robo. He's very brave. He'll protect you. <laughs> Stay safe while I look for something to help get us out of here. Oh. Yay, it still works! Mm. I can't get it open with just my nails. I'm talking about opening up the robot? Okay, that's new. Um, that's fine, though. Huh. Thin and sharp, a chisel might be useful. Why, why am I opening up the... That's fine. Papa's old bowling ball. Oh, Papa. Let's see what we got in here. Mm -hmm. Nothing useful. What is all this junk? Let's see what we got over here. A flashlight. No batteries. Oh, that's why I gotta open up the... Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if any of her things are still down here. Another light. I wonder if... Stay there, Lars. This could get hairy. Like a moth to a flame. Okay, so it's attracted to light. All right. Empty. Would have been too easy, I suppose. Uh, it's stuck. Uh, okay. Might be a way to open that. Uh, oh, there's a battery. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, so, first thought is put battery in this. Needs one more battery. Okay. Um... Can I use the chisel on the drawer? Yes. Okay, cool. Maybe if I wedge this. What's in there? Yes. A screwdriver. Perfect. Okay. Use a screwdriver to get the other battery. Then I have a flashlight. Then I can shine the flashlight at the sled which will attract the monster, which will knock it down. Got it. Um, please work, please work. Hey, Robbo was protecting me. That's right, Robbo was going to help us get out of here. A battery, and it's the right size. Okay, so now we'll put this battery in here. And now... Here goes something. Let's see what happens. Give us a hand, whatever you are. Please. Pretty please? Attack, monster! Please be as fast as I remember. Out we go. Come on, Lars. Whew. 
do believe it's time to run. We have to go, Lars. What about Papa? He'll find us later. I'll look after you, I promised. And I'll look after Mr. Yotun. Good, don't drop him. We'll all go fast down the mountain. Mr. Yotun would like that. Yes, so fast we fly. Then hold on tight, no matter what you see, don't let go. Pluck says, is that a giant Furby? Me no Coco sleep again. Let's see how fast we can go. <laughs> we hold on, Mr. Yotin. I think we're safe for the moment. Don't look back, Tuve. Can we go even faster? Yes, let's make sure that thing can't catch up. You and Mr. Yotun, hold tight. Man, what a, what a, what a start. <laughs> it's going to be okay, Tiny Tumpte. Come on. <laughs> Tuve, when will we see Papa again? <sighs> Just as soon as we can. So let's get some help, okay? We can cut through the forest and into town. But, but the forest is scary. <sighs> Is it scarier than the other thing? <gasps> we have to keep going. <sighs> Tuve, I'm so tired. Can we sit down? <laughs> it won't be too long, Tiny Tumpte. It can't be. Big hill. Not much longer, surely. Yeah, also, you probably don't want to go too fast, because, like, Lars is behind you. Maybe maybe we can find a friendly Alpha to show us the way. <laughs> We're not lost, and there's no such thing. Or maybe there is. I, I, I don't know anymore. God, there's so many ravens. Oh no, seems like a dead end. Is that what I think it is? Lars, stay close. Lars? No, Lars, come back. Oh, that's not good. That's a big footprint. That's a big footprint. Lars? Lars? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Mr. You tuned. You. you Yotun found an Alva. Don't run off, Mr. Yotun. I promise not to lose you. Huh? <laughs> Tuve! <laughs> Lars, I'm coming. come for you. Hold on. A lot has happened in half an hour. Holy crap. A footprint must be on the right path. You scared me. Now where do I go? <gasps> Lars, can you hear me? Oh, it's like the statue near our house. But this one's much bigger. It's not entirely clear where to go. This way? This way. Ugh. Oh, I... I ran in a loop. 
don't have anything in my bag. I think it was a it was a, a crossing, and I I went left when I should have went right. There must be another path. Go away, birds. Get out of here, ravens. Ah. Getting rid of the ravens reveals that there's some stuff. Marbles. Oh, okay. Oh, he's smart. I just have to... Ah, that's where this. I was right the first time, technically. Another clearing. Where do I go from here? Marbles, but where are the rest? Need another sign. Okay, I think I think I'm actually I, I know this is this is a heck of a cliffhanger. I think we're gonna stop here. Um this is wild though. This is wild. Um Roki uh Roki pretty good. Like that was a really, really strong start. <laughs> and uh I have a feeling that, you know, um Tube and Lars' uh, monster problems are probably only just beginning. Probably, uh, probably only just beginning. As a reminder, this game is available on PC, Mac, and Nintendo Switch. And a special thank you to Curb for uh, for sending it my way. Dang, man, dang. Uh, also, uh, this is uh, this game's on Humble. So if you pick it up for PC or Mac. Uh, consider using the link that we have in the description for Humble Bundle. You'll be supporting us as well. We appreciate it. That's it. Um, game did a good job speaking for itself. Uh, it has a very strong uh, identity. Like, it had a very strong thing that it wanted to do, and it's setting out to do that, and it's doing it pretty successfully. Not sure exactly where it goes from here, but I've liked what I've played so far. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week for more Stephen Plays. First 20.